Thomas Quinn! <laughs> Thomas Quinn scores his first goal in a long time. It's been a minute since he has been in the goals, but maybe his scoring touch has returned with the change of formation. Last episode made me almost completely destroy my controller, I'm not gonna lie. There were moments where I wanted to just yeet it across the room. However, today is a new day, and we start things off against Bournemouth at Glanford Park, so we've reverted back to the 4-1-2-1-2. Hopefully now the goals will start coming, and maybe Quill will start banging them in a little more often, who knows. Now, if this game could not make me want to break a controller today, that'd be pretty nice. Oh yeah, in between this episode and last episode, I have scouted some more uh, free agent players, actually, and then I took care of some administrative things, offered some players some new contracts. Some of the players were not happy at all with the contracts I offered, so we have to try again in a couple months. Um, and then I actually, I managed to make a sign-in for January, so that'll be exciting. Oh, he almost scored! Thomas Quinn almost let off an absolute ripper. That's a great through ball from Ibanez through to Regan Main, who puts us 1-0 up! We play so much better with this formation, it's actually crazy. Well, I don't even know why I tried to switch. Excellent turn around the post from Johnston. Keeping us in it, keeping us ahead of it. Got to defend the corner now, and Regan Main just about wins that header. Okay, but Thomas Quinn totally just did that man in with that first touch. That was lethal. And then they go and score at the near post. Well, the game's already more exciting and less infuriating, so I mean, this is a win. I'll, I'll allow this. Oh, dear Christ, Ocampo Chavez gave it away and we've been chipped! Oh, no! <laughs> well, I know exactly what Martin Tyler would say right now. I did check the, che the uh, team sheets to see what the other teams were looking like in the Prem at this stage. And to be fair, we should be losing a lot more games than we are. We're one of the worst teams out of the teams that came up. We're only marginally better than Brentford, but we're both three and a half stars. So, yeah, we should be doing a lot worse than we are. Thomas Quinn! <laughs> Thomas Quinn scores his first goal in a long time. It's been a minute since he has been in the goals, but maybe his scoring touch has returned with the change of formation. Ricci's through now. Ricci finds the back of the net. 3-2 up against Bournemouth. Get in, boys. Full time! 3-2 victory! Change of formation equals win! Get in! Do I have to send my scouts back out? I do! Oh, what a derp! Oh no! Oh well, I'll sort this out really quickly then. Second game of today's episode sees Chelsea at the bridge against Scunthorpe, and you know this Scunthorpe United team loves a little bit of the bridge, as was seen in that FA Cup episode. But, this is the Premier League, this is a different competition, and I'm sure Chelsea would not want us to get a second win over them at their home. One of these days, I'm gonna do a go- I'm gonna do an episode that is entirely dedicated to Johnston. It's just gonna be all goalkeeper. It's gonna be just an episode full of saves. That's it. That's all it's gonna be. Regan Mann brought down in the box. Silly challenge from the Chelsea defender. Well, not really. I was about to shoot, so <laughs> kind of have to stop that. Ibanez versus Kappa, and Ibanez plants it into that bottom left. We take the lead once again at the bridge. 
I'll tell you what, if the Chelsea fans aren't sick of seeing this team, they will be by the end of this game. I think a new rivalry's just formed, boys. Oh man, he just got sent off! That was... I don't know about that one, ref. That was a little soft, that. Oh no, you know what? It was the same dude that gave away the penalty. Oh, but he didn't get a yellow card for that, so what? What? Okay, well we have a free kick in a dangerous area. I doubt I'm gonna score it though, but we're gonna try. Oh, we almost squeezed it in actually. What an excellent save from Johnston, yet again. And then Johnston fails to come out for the cross. <laughs> it's just... I've been praising you all game, and you just decide to do some dumb shit like that. I'm feeling confident that with the man up, with the man advantage, I'm gonna go attacking, and hopefully, we'll be able to nick a little winner for us. That will be that full time, and we couldn't get another win at Stamford Bridge, but we didn't lose. We're still undefeated against Chelsea. Third and final game of today's episode sees Scott Thorpe at Glanford Park against Wolves. And look at this! McDonald's going up an overall point. Ocampo Chavez going up an overall point. Johnston's going up an overall point. Fujishima's going up an overall point. Regan Mayne's going up an overall point. And Thomas Quinn's going up an overall point. Look at that. Our players are getting better. Who else? Anybody else go up an overall point at all? Anybody? No. No Seymour did as well. Morrison did. Yeah, we've got players that are actually growing. Look at this. Great chip through ball through to Regan Main. Great touch to take it away from the defender. Regan Main slots it just wide of the far post. And he still hasn't quite mastered that across goal finish. And it's a little bit unlucky. Ooh, McDonald's through. McDonald one time effort. 1 0 up against Wolves. Get in, boys. Great shit. Oh, it's winter time again because Thomas's long sleeves have disappeared. Ah, oh, Jesus. They're, like, EA, you really can't fix that? You can't patch at least that? Give us, give us something. Fix one thing about career mode. If you fix one thing, it's the fact that when I customize kits, they go back to how they were when it's winter time, which is completely stupid. Like, please, give us that, at least. Oh, that was beautiful. He set it up. He teed it up. This man's got some fucking nerve. He, this, he teed up a volley for himself. He, he, he set himself. And look at this shit. Look at this. He said, all right, yep, I want to have a little little cheeky pop. You cheeky bugger. Regan Mayen with an absolute belter. He can do it on his left foot, just not his right foot. I have to make a, a mental note of that. Oh, what a clearance off the line. Fujishima. Absolute legend. We just need to get it out. That's full time. We secured a win against Wolves. And I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave you guys there. We have an absolute cracker of a match coming up against Man City away. But I hope you enjoyed this episode of Youth Academy Heroes. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, ding the bell for notifications, and drop a comment down below. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.